What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel, Rob Quinn, where we talk about how to make your digital marketing agency more profitable uh, amongst other things. Today, we're going to go over some Facebook ninja hacks and how you can use these strategies. This is exactly what we do to be able to generate 300% return on your investment on Facebook and exactly what we do for clients and how we're able to stay so successful so frequently. And we're going to give you those secrets right now. So let's roll that intro clip. Okay, guys, so there's a lot of stuff we do to make our Facebook ads really profitable. And uh, this is one of the tricks, one of the ninja Facebook hacks that you can do to do the exact same thing in case for some reason you haven't decided to work with um, our company, Front and Center Media, yet, which also makes me really sad. But it's okay because that's why we put these videos out there to help you guys do it yourself if that's something that you want to do. But anyway, I'm going to share my screen with you so you guys can take a look at how that works. Okay, and we're here. So here's the way you do it, okay? So this is one of the Facebook hacks. You're gonna scroll down on your news feed, and uh, Facebook obviously need to have very disruptive ads in order to engage the audience you're advertising to, right? Because you can pick your targeting. So uh, Netflix, we're not gonna worry about that because we're trying to sell to um, business owners, right? In the terms of selling a digital marketing uh, service to them. So we're gonna keep scrolling. Uh, this would be awesome for when we start selling our courses uh, because we can do the strategy here. But we're gonna look for something more business um, to business. This is again, business to consumer. So if you guys ever really pay attention to your ads, because um, now you probably will, <laughs> you're gonna start looking at them and see who the heck is targeting me. Um, we are gonna find, I'm sure I'll run into one here really, really soon just because I see them all the time, Whoop, boom, drip. So this is advertising to business owners or solopreneurs or online entrepreneurs, right, that are um, needing SaaS systems, software as a system, um, in order to help automate their business. So this would be a really good one to use. Now, this is a new ad they just started releasing. How do I know that? It doesn't have a whole lot of engagement in the terms of likes, but it has a lot of views. So what we're gonna do is go here, which means that they're running something, they're running a video ad to this. They're not doing a PPE campaign for engagement and they're not doing a conversion ad, they're running a video ad. So we'll go here though. So the trick is that you want to friend the people that like those posts. Um, and if let's say I were to go here and the example of just because it has more people so we're not scrolling, you guys aren't watching my newsfeed for this whole video as exciting as that sounds. Uh, so let's just say I went here to this influencer group. Uh, these are people that basically are, an influencer is like a uh, really popular local celebrity, right? It's just somebody that people are very highly, highly engaged with on social media. So I'm in a group of that and a bunch of other people in that group. So if we go here to this space, um, you always wanna add the people that love and do the extra emotional actions on these posts because it's easy to like something you could easily just go here and just click like you're done that's it but if they choose one of these other ones that means they went the extra mile which typically means they're going to be more um, receptive and engagement to whatever content or ads you put out so we're going to go ahead and these were already sent so i already did this earlier and boom there we go so anyway you will do that now how do i know what targeting so now that you're starting to accumulate people that are industry relevant, right, to your ads, how do I know who to target? So I'm gonna show you guys that right now, and then we'll dive into the back end and how to choose that targeting. Okay, so we're back here. Are you guys ready for this? Boom, click that. You're gonna see a whole bunch of other little stuff here. Um, save the video, which I, I do frequently, which you should be doing if you are trying to advertise to whomever it is. Saving that, we'll put it into your um, archives to where you can look at that on your personal page and save videos or save links so you can reference them later. Um, hide it so you know it shows a fewer times on you so you're not getting hit with the um, frequency of that ad. Uh, why am I seeing this? So this is what we're gonna focus on, boom. This is gonna give you a description 
of exactly who they're targeting. So there may be other reasons why you're seeing this ad, including the drip wants people to reach the ages of 25 to 59 who live in or were released recently in, if I can talk, the United States. Guys, this part is huge. Um, I'm gonna show you why here in a second. But you can also see their age groups here. And then of course up here, they have a little bit more detailed description. Um, these people are part of an audience called member of a family-based household. So that's who they're targeting. Um, and this shows the combination of what that is, uh, factors such as activity on Facebook, or other apps or websites. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like too. And we're not gonna hide it. Okay, now you guys know um, what to do to build an industry related audience on your specific social network by doing the likes, right? Adding friends and that specific industry relevant ad. And then you're also gonna know how to do the targeting because I just gave you the secrets on where to find what these big companies are doing to target people and you just copy what they're doing. Success the copycat game, right? So let's dive into the business manager. Bam, here we are. Let's say we wanted to create a new ad. So I can just show you guys um, real surface level how you're gonna go in and create an ad. We're gonna, we'll just, eh, we don't want to do that. I'll just start it over. Okay, so for the sake of this, um, let's just say that we're gonna do conversions. We're not gonna worry about naming it. So just hit continue, because I'm not gonna save this ad. I just wanna show you guys how to do it. So this is in the business manager, business.facebook.com. And you want to have the power editor, so make sure you're on business.facebook.com, not just your personal editor on your page. So when you scroll down here to audiences, you can see if you have if you want to do your custom audience. Um, everyone in this location is where you saw they are specifically advertising to people who lived in the U.S. and had lived in the U.S. But we just want to do people who live in this location. So if you've ever ran a Facebook ad and you're trying to wonder because you've looked at the analytics, why are people in like Asia and like these other countries or wherever seeing my ad when they do not live here and I chose my city? right, or I chose everyone that lives in, the, in this location, you see United States right here, you need to choose lives in this location. And then from there, you can choose whether you wanted to do your zip code, and then you can choose the radius on that zip code. Um, so, and, it's, and you could also exclude zip codes. So if I don't wanna to advertise to uh, maybe, well, whatever zip code you don't wanna to advertise to. And then from here, you're able to choose the age groups. Now we get into detail targeting. So if you are advertising to another business, let's just say we wanted to do like for us, we'll do business. We do small business. We can keep going here to business owners which you see employers. So make sure you see the difference here in employers, interests, behavior. So we would choose business owners. This will give us a few more options here. Now you can narrow that audience. So you could do business owners, but they also have to, um, let's say, They're business owners, but now we'll do something more that we would target for the example. So a dentist, job title, general dentist. So they have to be a business owner. They have to be a general dentist. So that's just exactly how you target guys. I'm not gonna get into placement or anything else. If you guys want that, then you could download the uh, 13 ways to instantly boost Facebook conversion in a PDF that we will have coming out. Um, if it's not in the link right now, it will be out here in the next couple of days. But download that and it'll give you the secrets and how to effectively better use your Facebook ads and business manager to increase conversion literally overnight. But this is how you pick the targeting and where can you find targeting? Again, by going here, the little three dots, why am I seeing this? And you could take this um, company's audience by liking their 
people that like their ad because they're industry relevant because they already like that ad. So like your ad too, and then use their targeting in your power editor. That simple guys. And that is the Facebook hack of the day. Let me see if I can, uh, Yep, so that's the Facebook hack for the day, guys. That is the ninja hack that will help you set up targeting to effectively increase your Facebook ad conversion because it will help you find a more industry-relevant audience, especially if you're running to cold traffic, which is what that example is. That is a cold traffic um, example. That's if you don't have any anything to upload to create a custom audience or look like audience. So there you go. And if you guys like these videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel when this stuff comes out. That's how I'm able to create all this free content for you guys and uh, share this video with somebody that does Facebook ads and uh, kind of give them a little share, share the wealth, right? Wealth of knowledge. But anyway, guys, I'll catch you on the next video. This is exclusive. Nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. Oh.